because I was my troops were busy drilling and were not free to go out and fight. Like you'd think you'd be able to interrupt interrupt military drills. <laughs> Sound and baby bows. Well, that's a tiny little castle. Cards being picked up. Eh. Dun, 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 dun. It's been a while since we've had an actual battle we got to watch. I'm not going to use um, Zhou Yun's unit to launch the attack on the gate, only because I want to be able to use th whatever that unit is twice a turn, both when the commander is injured. You dare to mock me? You dare to steal my presents? You dare to die? But I want to be able to. Um, uh, I want to be able to command them to, you know when it's their turn, and also when it's Cho Yun's turn, he can direct them. But I suppose I can do that with, uh... Might as well start doing that now. Although you've got a ranged unit, you really shouldn't be doing this. I'll go ahead and have you get up close to attack and see what happens. Because that's a horse unit. That could be bad. They just get in and start slamming on my archers, but... If it goes really poorly, I'll back, back them out. Hey, can you, can you directly command, uh... No, hold on. Yeah, you can direct Town, town in. Alright, so Top Hat Raptor's gonna give orders to Town in. He's gonna be like, sure. I mean, this is what I wanted to do anyway, I don't care. Turns too fast. Uh. It's like, oh shit, I'm on fire. What do you mean my troops are being injured by fire? Oh wow. Alright, town in, you're getting your ass kicked now. <laughs> Didn't really go well at all. And because they're confused, I can't direct them. So that went really poorly. Let's try to calm them down. Come on now, get yourselves together. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm a baby, I panic sometimes. Oh, I don't have enough left to extinguish, that sucks. Alright, we're back. Okay, so the idea of having the bow unit just charge forward seems to have been a mistake. Matter of fact, even though I didn't like the idea that they're going to only get to move once a turn or so, Zhao Yun is, Zhou Yu is commanding the cavalry, which really is the best unit to be launching an attack direct on the gate. Wow. Go away has arrived. Sun Tzu has arrived. History buff has arrived. Revenge Element has arrived. Look at our forces increasing drastically. But you gotta bear in mind, these are now, like, these are guys who are gonna be under AI control, so they're gonna suck. Now, Dracona's Darkness's cavalry unit is the one that I really should have attacking the front gate, but... Now stop picking on, uh... Stop picking on it, little baby. Oh, I should have made you attack. Because 
because the problem is that they've got a lot of numbers. What is that? So they're just going to run around on the shore. They're not going to be effective at all. off the subunit over here. That would be Eddie. Not quite. And I was talking about having... No, wait. I shouldn't have done that. Ah, well, whatever. I'm already there now. I think I should have had Draconis Darkness as you know come up, but... Come on, guys. Cross over the river and do something. Liu Biao. The commander of the enemy army, his unit is personally chilling out. Look like we do what I tell you. Okay, I guess. Sure. Why not? Definitely win if he accepts. Wow, he accepted. <laughs> Top Hat Raptor is a dueling fool. I think the duel that I had with him managed to stay in a video that's going to be used. I am Top Hat Raptor, Sunzu's army. Come and fight me. All right, then I, Wang Chu, shall face you in battle. Neither of them have any awesome duel techniques, so this could go either way. Stab. So far, so good. Just have to remember that if I do get evades, use them on the second turn. Yeah, the computer tends to use its uh, strongest attacks at the top. Not always, but that strategy tends to work reasonably well, though. Okay, that's kind of suck for me. He's making a bit of a comeback here. He's the comeback kid. Won't you? I gotta end this video and go to bed, too. Staying over at a uh, family's house. I'm up way later than I meant to be. There we go. Now I'm gonna whoop your ass there, Won't you? He's like thinking about this. He's got the thinking mantle. He's like, hmm, I'm getting my ass kicked. Interesting. Alright, this is it. You should learn to regret your curiosity. We should learn that with your impetuosity. Yay! Hey, let me go. He got captured. Well, that was not a good duel for you to accept, buddy. What do you mean the troops are panicking? It's just, we're just on fire. That's not that big a deal, is it? Okay, so they're going to have to put out the fire. They didn't start the fire. Not enough water. Alright, well, let me take a whiz on it. She's like, show you, I wouldn't piss on you if you were on fire. Oh, we'll, we'll attack these guys. Come on, Falzer, get up there and do something useful. It's like, alright, I've had enough. Somebody else get up there and fight for me. Draconis Darkness, you're up. Understood. Oh, and you've got the charge command. Useful. Push these guys back, hopefully. Or not. Ooh. Wow, I took a lot more losses than they did. That's the traitor! I don't think I can even execute him. I think if I execute him, I'll get in trouble with the Soon family, even though he freaking betrayed them. Probably the most dangerous unit on the field, other than maybe the 
that big cavalry unit's uh, kind of a problem. Okay, they can't climb the walls. These guys can't do much of anything. Alright, go away. You're being aggressive, that's good, but you need to do something. I think I'll just start whittling down their troop counts, because it's pretty clear that we're going to have a fight inside the city. Yes, yeah, and so you're making all the difference over there, by the way. Taishi Tzu is so strong, I would like to beat him. Ha 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 ha. Bonus darkness, kick their ass. Yes, sir. Okay, maybe I better stop just attacking troops and try to actually... Oh, excellent! She only got one missile off, but it managed to set the thing on fire. Which means it'll do some pretty heavy damage. What do you mean they can't scale the wall? Curses! And in Selimena, you are doing an excellent job of nothing at this point. Sorry, but it's true. Everybody's always ordering me around. They don't even have enough movement points to try to scale the hill. That sucks. Guess I'll move up here just in case. Somebody decides to stroll down here and be attackable. There you go, buddy. Bonus darkness, kick day ass. Excellent. He'll probably end up getting battle honors. We'll have to see how it goes. Boom. Don't say his army is proceeding with battle inside the city. I have a massive uh, numerical advantage. I probably don't even have to watch this, but I will. Battle of Jongling. Yeah, I don't like the place there. So you, our name should be praised throughout the world. Well, mine will. Boom. It's kind of a sloppy, swampy city, isn't it? What the hell? Oh, surprise attack. It's like, wow, I never see that tactic used. That was interesting. It's like, the enemy suddenly starts spazzing out and explodes. Oh, be careful. You don't want to get pulled off the map. You look like a total idiot when that happens. She is safe from that because he's in the way. So here we are in a desperate struggle to not lose ground, because I built up a huge army to attack a city that Sao ended up taking before I had a chance. Turn you total! Thank you, Ben Selimena, for attempting to do something. I am going to ignore you guys and start charging towards the enemy main camp. I want you to ignore the peons. Attack the enemy main camp. Okay. 
she got absolutely no progress at all. Huge numerical advantage. We really can't lose this, but it. Well, I mean, we could. If my guys get beaten, and then the AI controlled guys just herp it herp enough. We can waste enough time. But we really shouldn't lose this. Yeah, he ignored me. Well, we pretty much knew he was a coward. He surrendered to save his life to the person who killed his brother. There we go, history buff. You can get over there and actually finish this thing in short order. Ever, because of the swampy conditions, I guess. There we go. Attack them in their boats. And take even losses. That kind of sucked. Top Hat Raptor, way to go. Took out two units, not bad. Pit, huh? Come on. You guys suck. Why are you ordering Revenge Elemena to do stuff? You're right there at the enemy camp. Attack! At least when they finally, at least this time when Revenge Element is inexplicably told to do stuff instead of other people doing their jobs, he uh, attacks the, the base. Alright, history buff. You did some stuff during the video that was lost. Be careful, people. But there's a chance you'd actually do something in a video that would be seen. History buff will most likely be the one who actually takes this city. Because I'm tired of losing troops. That's for buff. Finish this. They really can't actually prevent it at this point. It's over. I mean, it's been kind of a foregone conclusion for a while, but this is it. It won't happen right here. With any luck, it'll happen on history buff's turn, so that I'm sure he gets the real credit. I mean, well, Sun Tzu is out there making everybody happy. And Lulu. Queen Yi, whatever her name is, does not have Warlord, so that sucks. How could I have not seen such a simple bit? You are a baby. We've destroyed the enemy council's chamber. This battle is ours. <laughs> Fat Raptor, Joe, you, and History Buff. I thought Darkness Draconis, or whatever the hell his name is, would have been in there. First honors was to go to Top Hat Raptor, the guy with the eye patch. Not Jihad doing the other one. I've never seen such power on the field before. Truly amazing. Yep. What? I see the second honors go to me. It's embarrassing having to praise myself, although I do it all the time. I lost to Master Top Hat Raptor this time, but since I'm not sure why that happened, I'm not that upset. That's all people will thought. Liu Biao has been captured. Zhang Yun has been captured. Sun Jing has been captured. Xiao Mao has been captured. Oh, that's a lot of folks. Lord Zhao Yu, please to fight decide the fate of Xiao Mao. I should offer him a job. Liu Biao, I think we need to execute because he's uh, Sun Jin considered him an immortal enemy even before Sun Jin died attacking his his dudes. I think he's... My, it's Xiao Mao is like married into his family. He probably should be executed, but I got a lot of flack for executing too many people last time, so it's trying to be nice. 
you're not going to kill me, but wonders never cease. Same deal here. Some of these are guys I probably should be executing, but I don't know the history well enough to know which ones were really considered. Like him. Oh, this is this will be interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna save state here. Cause I wanna see what happens if I execute this guy. This would be my sworn brother Sun Su's uncle. You have chosen duty over your personal feelings. That is right, Master Zhou Yu. Whoa. Interesting. Working with you will be a true pleasure. Yeah. Because I just executed that guy, so now they're all going to join me, it seems like. Interesting. I would have thought that that would have been like a huge issue. Erg. Lord Zhou Yu, Liu Q has declared you as a nemesis over the death of Liu Biao. That's not, not surprising. That's not surprising. Liu Pan. We recommend to Sun Tzu the transfer of Ling Ling's government to Jiangling. Yes, and he's approved that. So now I'm right on the front line with Sao Sao. I've become a class 3 officer. In the 11th month of 201, the sovereign Liu Biao died. My lord, the successor of Liu Biao is Liu Qi. It wasn't Liu Kong, sadly. That's an interesting place to end the video, but I want to see something. We just saved, I think, in slot 0. Let's try to employ him. Show you, I thank you for your concern, but I cannot do that. I had thought that Monsa desires of no way in this world. Yeah, what happened was, that dialogue didn't come out of the fact that we have a relationship in the plot. It came out of the fact that we had, probably, we were considered close because of me talking to him when we were both officers in Wu and, like, you know, just chatting with people. So... That's the wrong safe state. Yeah. So, we didn't become an enemy of Sun Tzu's for executing him, and he did betray us to the force that killed his brother. So I think what we did was basically justified. Now the big problem we've got is that I don't think we can get to... We can't finish off Liu Q, who's got 12 officers left, but very few troops. Because as we'll see if we try to attack... I think what we would run into if we tried to march from here is, yeah, Cao Cao's in the way. We can't actually uh, deal with, we can't finish off Liu Biao's uh, force. We've killed Liu Biao himself. We've avenged the death of Sun Jin and uh, the dishonor that the Sun family was subjected to when, Sun, when uh, Liu Biao confronted them over the theft of the Imperial Seal. Uh, which is now with Sao Tsao anyway. But yeah, Liu Biao and Sun Jin were, were enemies. So we've done um, right by Sun Tzu by killing Liu Biao. So that was a pretty major accomplishment. The problem is that we can't actually finish off his, his uh, political organization because Sao Tsao's in the way. Now, they made an enemy out of... Uh, some of our other guys who work for Sun Tzu made an enemy of Liu Yan, which I didn't want to do. But at this point, the real question is, who do we go after next? Liu Yan? Or is it time to take the fight to Cao Cao? And I think the answer is, we can't leave Cao Cao sitting here on our border. I think that's going to be the next big thing we had to deal with. But that's going to have to wait for another time, folks, because it's like almost 2 o'clock in the morning here. Holy crap, it's time for me to go to bed. When we come back, folks, um... Major progress in that video, I would have to say. I mean, the death of Liu Biao is a pretty big deal in the story. Uh, we've totally broken uh, the history mode. We're not going to be able to see a lot of historical events happen the way they're meant to now. I hope you enjoyed watching the Two Cows uh, cinematic, because it clearly isn't going to pop in the game anymore. And uh, we'll never see Shu. We will never see Shu. 
uh, Liu Bei was supposed to take that land from Liu Biao and use that to kind of get us started. Um, clearly, at this point, things are messed up anyway because uh, Liu Yan is still alive instead of Liu Zhang. But um, the historical events, I don't know how we were, we were never going to be able to follow it real closely, but we've basically screwed it up. It's never going to happen properly. Liu Bei, Liu Bei, I think, is up here with the Yuan Shao, but yeah, Shu's not going to start ever because uh, we've expanded too quickly. We've taken over that territory. Hope you don't mind. Hope you find it to be interesting rather than disappointing. But either way, it's the way things are. Thanks for watching, folks. Uh, when we come back, it's going to be time for Wei and Abu to go to war. See you guys then. Bye-bye.